Hello, my name is Kyle Moran, and this is my marketing video project. I'm going to be touching on the East Shop Beach Club, which is a nonprofit organization in Oak Bluffs on Martha's Vineyard here in Massachusetts. I have been the manager of the East Shop Beach Club for the past four years, so I feel that I can analyze it very well. And this class has given me the opportunity to look at it through a marketing scope. So I'm going to touch on the marketing mix. I'm going to talk about market segmentation, and then I'm also going to talk about different social media opportunities that the club could take advantage of. And I'm going to begin by giving you a quick tour of the website. It's the East Shop Beach Club website. You can see up top there is a place for me to log in as an administrator. Also drop down menus for East Shop Beach Club, East Shop Yacht Club, and there is a nice slideshow going on in the background that you know, has an image of what a typical day on the beach might look like during the summertime. Back again, I'm going to take this time to talk about the marketing mix and the four P's in relation to the East Shop Beach Club. So forgive me if I look at my notes a little bit, but we'll start out with product. So the East Shop Beach Club is a private beach club. You need to live in the community of East Shop in order to become a member. And um, you're basically paying for that exclusivity. It's a family atmosphere and um, just sort of a place where a lot of the people that live on East Shop grew up and um, it was founded in 1931, so it does have some history. We'll talk about price a little bit. So in order to become a member, um, again, gotta live in the community and it's exclusive, but the most common type of membership is a family membership. It's $765, so not terribly expensive. And um, you know that membership gets you access to the club and you know, your kids can come down, you can sign in, you can enjoy the facilities. Um, there isn't really a lot that goes on for promotion. Um, we don't, we're not promoting new members, and maybe the only promotion that goes on is when we promote for events. That's more, I guess, advertising, but when we're trying to drum up uh, getting members to sign up for the dinner dance or for Friday night dinners or whatever it might be, there's a lot of events that go on during the summertime. And then in terms of place, the East Shop Beach Club. Um, so it was interesting going over place because place is described as a means of getting the product to the customer. But in this situation, I feel that's reversed. Um, it's up to the customer to get to the product. And I, as the manager, am responsible for the product. And I'm responsible for you being able to come down to the beach and enjoy your time. I snagged this graphic from chapter nine in the textbook on marketing segmentation. And this sort of talks about the different users that can be present in a market. And so when I'm looking at the East Chop Beach Club, I'm looking at people that are visiting the beach frequently, my heavy users as compared to my medium users and my light users. And the people that I'm going to be hearing feedback from and talking with the most are the ones that are going to be the heavy users. And I think, you know, looking at that consumption percentage, it's pretty much the exact same thing. You can translate it to the beach club. Granted, we don't have 192,400 users, but we do have over 400 memberships. So you're talking about a possible uh, 1,000 plus users. And so I would say most of the consumption at the club is from the people that are there for the entire summer with their kids and are down there every single sunny day. Four minutes is not long enough to really get into all this, but I'm going to touch on social media just a little bit in relation to the Beach Club and um, sort of the different channels that the Beach Club could use social media for. So we currently have a Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram account, but as the manager, I know that we don't update them as much as we could, and we would be able to broadcast and reach our membership basically by keeping those updated. We would be able to tell people about potential weddings that are happening that, that night or putting up photos from events the night before. We could talk about if a swim meet got canceled because of bad weather, we can talk about when we're gonna schedule swim practice. We can talk about what the kids' activity is going to be for the day. And just, it would be easy to engage the membership through those channels instead of members having to call in or come down and ask about them. So anyways, I could talk a lot more, but I'm not going to. So thanks for watching my video, and thanks again for a great semester.